In this lesson, we will discuss creating calendars. Yes, Microsoft Visio 2016 can be used to create a calendar. It can be a yearly calendar, a monthly calendar, weekly, daily, or other type of calendar that works for your needs. You know, to be honest with you, when I remember receiving calendars like this was in high school. I received a lot of calendars because I was in marching band and I was in drama and choir and sports and I always received a calendar at the beginning of the quarter or beginning of the year and sometimes that calendar was a week long calendar other times it was a monthly calendar and at the beginning of the year I always received a yearly calendar that is very similar to what you would be creating when creating a calendar using Visio. let's start by creating a simple calendar we're going to start with a day calendar when you select a calendar template or if you do a file new and you choose in the schedule template category select calendar you will be presented with the calendar shapes shape stencil and as you can see there's shapes for month week multiple week month for thumbnail month you got a year calendar a day calendar you've got an individual appointment multi-day event then you've got other calendar like icons such as clocks notes reminders so on and so forth you can see that this shape stencil is filled with lots of great icons for adding in information on specific days for a calendar you're creating we will start as i said by creating a daytime calendar to do so you would simply drag your day shape onto your calendar as soon as you drop the shape onto your diagram page you're presented with the configure window this configure window allows you to instantly add what date are you indicating that day calendar to be if you were to choose today the date would be pre-populated for you in the date field if you needed to select a different day you would simply select the drop down menu which presents you with a monthly calendar and you can navigate forward or backward and then you would select the date of your choosing you can choose the language in this case we'll use English and you can choose the date format do you want the day to be included in this case Wednesday March 16th you can choose to have 316 2016 you can choose to have the European format 2016 0316 or various other formats available for now we'll stick with the day and date fully spelled out and you can see below that Visio shows you an example of what that day would look like once you select OK you'll see instantly if we zoom in here the date is listed out as described Wednesday March 16 2016 and if you wanted to add other shapes onto this specific day you could do so you could customize the design of this shape just as you would any other shape and then here's our completed example which looks very similar to what we just created next we'll look at a week if you wanted to create a week you would simply we'll delete our day shape we would drop in a week shape and when you do so you're also presented with the configuration window this time the configure window has more options not only does it have a start date but it has an end date how long is your week is it five days or is it seven days is it a three-day week in this case we'll choose a seven-day week also English and we'll choose a shorter date format let's choose March 16 2016 it's pretty standard for me and then do we want the weekends to be shaded I like to see the weekends shaded this helps me decipher work days from non working days and yes we would like to show the title we'll choose OK and instantly you'll see that because today is Wednesday the weekend falls in the middle of the seven day week so if you zoom if we zoom in here you can see that each day is dated with the format we selected and at the top we see week of now again you can customize the theme and you can choose a variation on that theme if you wish this is nice I like this if you identify that for example you're going on vacation like I am starting Friday the 18th you might add 
that icon there. all the way through your vacation week. And if there is a birthday being celebrated, you might add that there. If there is a soccer game or something else happening Saturday, you could add that onto Saturday. If you were working on a project and you wanted to indicate this week as being an important week, you might add a kickoff icon on Monday with a milestone being you're prepared and ready to go on Friday. If you wanted to include some weather information, you could do so. And like I said, there are many shapes included in our calendar shape stencil. Of course, if you wanted to dive in to find other shapes, as a reminder, you can go into the More Shapes menu and then select under My Shapes or any of the pre-made shape stencils that Visio provides for you. If you have added Microsoft Visio 2016 over a previous version, such as Visio 2013, you will see in some of your shape stencils that there are not only the current Visio 2016 versions, but also Visio 2013. If you look in the building plans, you'll see that there are the current stencils, for example, cabinets here, but there's also cabinets from Visio 13. Because many of the shapes have been updated for Visio 2016, they are new shape stencils created. So you have the 2016 shape stencil and you have the 2013 shape stencil, and you could select from either or both. So remember that you can add shapes from all of your stencils into any drawing. So that's the week calendar. Let's look at what would be most common, I imagine, would be the month calendar, and I've pre-made it here. And this is as simple as dragging and dropping the same month shape onto your diagram, and it would be presenting you with the same options. This time you would select your month first, then your year, and you want the week to begin on Monday or any day of the week. Then do you want to shade the weekends and show your title? Of course, we'll cancel that since we've already done it, and you can see that we're looking at March 2016. And you can see that I chose to start the week on Monday, and end the week on Sunday and to shade the weekends. You can see that down here when the month converts to April that the color of the calendar changes a little bit. It's very similar, same shading, slightly different coloring. And just like as in all the other drawings, we can choose the theme which works for us to affect the overall look and feel of the calendar. And again, we can add in any of the shape icons to our dates. You can change the font if you wanted to on these days if you wanted to increase the font and make these things a bit more legible you could do so uh, just like any other drawing you could affect any detail in your drawing and that completes this lesson on creating calendars